Hey viewers, if you're watching my other channel where I'm uh, filming my bike rides, you know that uh, besides uh, riding a road bike and building a road bikes, I'm also riding a mountain bike. And uh, my mountain bike is the object of constant improvements. Recently I got these. The platform pedals, which may seem worthless, but if you know what you're buying and you know what you're doing, you will be very happy with those. Let me begin with why I was kind of disappointed when I got those pedals. It's not gonna be an uh, unboxing video. Once I got them out, well, they look very decent, pretty standard mountain bike pedals with the spikes, but what struck me was the smoothness, or actually lack of, how the axle of the pedal is rotating, or it's not rotating. In this video I will show you what's needed to get those pedals to work properly. Dartmoor Stream pedals, they come in uh, two versions, the standard one, the one I got, and a Pro. The main difference is that the standard ones are a cup and cone, which are very serviceable, while the Pro, they have one cartridge bearing and one bushing. I thought, I don't want to have a bushing on my pedals, I want to be able to service them, that's why I went for cup and cone model. I start by uh, placing the pedal in a drill vise and I'm protecting the thread of the spindle by a section of inner tube. As you can see it's not spinning freely. I use a Stanley knife to remove the cup. Some say that you have to destroy the cup because you are using the screwdriver. That's why I use the Stanley uh, knife. Then uh, I use a 9mm socket uh, spanner and a 15mm flat spanner to undo the lock nut. I was hoping that uh, I can just loosen the cone and I, this will give the pedal the ability to spin freely. By the way, to loosen the cone you need a 11 mm box spanner. But yet, there is still something blocking the pedal, so I decided to undo the whole assembly of the pedal and see what kind of grease is put inside. Because it does not have to be the grease that you put in uh, in the bicycle bearings. It might have been this uh, factory grease that it's uh, used to prevent from rust. If you don't extract the cup completely, you can retain all the balls inside the pedal. And now I'll put the pedal aside. I have the version where there is a seal on a spindle on the crank side, and I'm very happy with this. You can see I. I Remove the seal a bit and now I'm collecting all the bolts. Just a bit of cleaning of the spindle. Well, I did not uh, put any white spirit or a brake cleaner or something because, well, it's grease, it's not a gunk, it's not a residue, it's just a grease, so let's leave it there. Now I'm putting the ball bearing grease inside of the pedal. Now you either need a long nose pliers or tweezers to put the balls uh, back inside uh, into the race. The grease helps you with uh, this job because it's keeping the balls all, all uh, together. Anyway, it's kind of tedious job, so I did it off camera. Now you can simply slide uh, the pedal back onto the spindle because the grease is keeping all the balls uh, from falling out. And you have to be careful when putting the balls back on the outside cone. It should be like 14 of them. Again, quite a tedious job. And once you're done, you simply Screw back the cup just by turning the spindle on the other side. You can help yourself with the tweezers. And the most tricky part 
of this job is to tighten uh, the whole bearing. I used a flat aluminium bar that was used uh, for extracting the car radio and again 9mm box spanner. If you tighten it too much you can simply loosen it by turning the cone counterclockwise with uh, 11 uh, millimeter box uh, spanner and if it's too loose then you tighten it back again. It takes a couple of attempts but once uh, you've done it you know you've done it right. There is no play and the pedal is uh, spinning freely. Just putting the cup uh, back and basically we're done. You could see that it takes like uh, half an hour to get these pedals uh, spinning freely and uh, I would just put them on the back and test in the field how they perform. But still I'm uh, very happy with, uh, with what I bought and uh, I'm hoping that uh, test in the field will uh, fall out positive. So stay tuned for the next episodes of uh, my bike uh, shop uh, videos and uh, get on your bikes.